We're going to be installing Z165 dual roof drain combo kit. It's pretty simple. Here's your primary roof drain. This is going to be your secondary roof drain. As you can see, it has a lip here. If this gets blocked up or it's not draining fast enough, water is going to rise and then go up and over. So what you want to do is take these, flip them upside down. You're going to have this metal template here. And you're going to flip it upside down because these roof drains, essentially they're going to sit like that inside of the recessed area. Be careful not to get caught. You're going to need a 9 16 socket. The nut and washers come with them. And as you can see, come over here. You can see where you're going to thread the nuts in, or the bolts, I'm sorry, into there. So you're going to take your bolt, your washer, and you're just going to thread it right in there and you got room to move some slack to get everything lined up you just want to get them started do not crank on them <clears throat> until you get all four screwed on That way, you gotta make any adjustments. You can. All right, you're gonna take your 9 16 socket and you're just gonna tighten them down. Kind of like in a star pattern, like you would your tire, just get a nice even seal and we're using the no hub which just basically means we're going to take a fern co the three inch pipe is going to go right flush with here and then we're going to take a fern co and tighten those down which we'll do later get our next set Again, you see these slots here? You got four slots, pretty obvious. Those are the ones you're gonna use. And you can see how much adjustment they give you to move it around to line everything up where you need it. One thing I like about these Z165 dual roof drains is really easy to install. I like this metal here. And later we'll show you up on the roof how to finish the installment. But this is the first step in connecting the roof drain to your bracket. Again, you can see this is a no hub as well. Basically, it just means we're going to use a fern co to connect the two. They have different sizes <clears throat> and different ways to connect. We're using no hubs. So now you flip this over. And that's how it's going to be up on the roof. Again, you got your primary roof drain. <clears throat> this backs up or can't keep up. You got your secondary wire will come in here and go up and over. That's it. So now we're on the roof here. And what I like to do is make a template to let me know where to cut 
the metal <laughs> for the roof drains. So once you determine your location, you want to go ahead and put this template down. to go. This kind of gives you an outline where you're going to cut the holes. Then you can use a grinder, saws on, whatever you prefer to cut the holes. And remember your safety glasses. All right, here we go. got both holes cut now and again let me emphasize the safety glasses don't want any of that getting your eyes so now you're going to take this template that we put together basically you're going to drop it in the hole get me a screw sir drains in and you get it all squared up. So what I'm using is these self-tapper metal screws from the actual roof deck. And it's got this rubber washer there. Basically, it's a for waterproofing. And we're going to put eight of them around. And then the last thing... After you put your eight screws around, we're going to put these strainers on. Get those turned nice and easy. And the roofer will take care of the rest. And that's how you install the Z. 165 dual combo roof trains. Any questions? Leave them down, I'll get back with you.